This weekend was like the Super Bowl. It was sort of like ESPN Classic for suffering and pain. Um, but it was a good weekend. I, it, For those of you who don't know, if you're listening to this in the future, this past weekend was Theo Vaughn's podcast. No, um, what's up, Theo? It was the first two days of Passover, and then uh, I celebrated my first Easter today. And if you don't know about Passover, what I would say to you is to go watch Sebastian Maniscalco. Just type in Sebastian Maniscalco Passover. It's like a two-minute clip from his, I think it's like Aren't You Embarrassed um, special. And he talks about how bad the food is at, at Seder's. And before, and I, I, I reacted to it on my YouTube channel. Uh, I have that clip of me saying that Jewish food stinks to Action Bronson. Not all of it stinks, and obviously, like, but it. <laughs> for people who are so obsessed with food, which a lot of Jews are, myself included, my number one fan, um, the Seder is a rough food night or week. Passover is a, a rough food. We can't even just blame the Seder. The say, blaming the Seder would be like. What and I don't want. I love. I was an Oakland Athletic, in in uh, little league. I was and I was so stu- I was so out of touch with sports and such a non athlete that I remember. I, I'll never forget this. I was first grade ish, I think, and I was playing little league, and I was in the on the athletics. And I remember because we were at a practice field with a huge dirt pile, which was more fun to me. Like, it was a mountain. Like, we could climb up it. It was, like, the size of a building. And that was more fun to me than actually being on the team. But we were at the athletics, and I was just such a nerdy, sad little kid. And I wanted to be friends, and I went up to these two kids. I don't remember who they were. And I was like, can you believe we're the athletics? What a silly, like, why couldn't they give us a real team? What a silly name, athletic. Like, in my head, it was like, they were saying it's like, oh, we're athletic. And they were like, it's a real baseball team. And I had no memory of it. I just, not even memory. I didn't know. I had no, not, and they like they walked away laughing. And it was like very sad. Um, but, or funny, now that you look back at it. Um, but blaming the Seder would be like blaming the athlete, the athletics for not being a great, because aren't they, I, I read a, a headline that they're, cutting their their payroll down to zero basically like they spent no money so the seder has nothing to work with it really you take away any rice bread pasta there's not it, it it's not even not served it's illegal to be served then can't have any seafood uh, not seafood you can't have any um shellfish which lobster well, I'm not a big fan but that always makes people happy shrimp who doesn't like a shrimp? Can't have it and can't have meat with dairy. So let's just say you wanted to have a cheeseburger, keto style, not allowed. Um, I don't know who would serve a cheeseburger at, at a Seder, but it would be an improvement. It's Let me walk you through the Seder. We start with, and mine is very uh, abbreviated. And by the way, I'm just going to just to, uh, spoiler alert, I had a good time. It was not, I haven't been to one in 10, 11 years, and trust me, I when I was in LA, I it was one of my favorite. I missed my family, but Seder's were not were not something I missed missing. Um, but our so the Seder, if you don't know, it commemorates when the Jews uh, were slaves in in Egypt, and then Moses um, killed uh, a, uh, an Egyptian. Um, taskmaster, but he was really the son of a Jewish woman, but living in Pharaoh's ca- uh, palace. I almost said castle. Um, did Pharaoh have? A, did they have castles in ancient Egypt? Um, I also just spit on my microphone, so that's gross. Um, I don't think they had castles in Egypt. That would be funny. Um, so Moses was uh, secretly a Jew, but he didn't even know it was sort of like a, like a Dateline special. And then he killed a Jewish, I mean, an Egyptian taskmaster. He went to the mountains and a bush uh, erupted into flame and talked to him. Feel like I'm getting it right. Um, and then he went to, to Pharaoh and said, please let us leave. 
And Pharaoh said, uh, yes, but then he changed his mind. Um, Pharaoh was the original fuckboy. And then at the last one, we we put lamb's blood on our doors. And then that let the angel of death know that we were Jewish and that we were cool. And it was like um, the, a wristband, sort of, or a stamp. And then the, Pharaoh let us go. and But then the, he changed his mind again. He kept coming back. We were too good. Um, our game was too tight. So Moses opened up the seas, but we were running. That's that I forgot about that. Since we had to leave so hastily, we didn't let our bread rise, and that's why I can't eat pasta for a week. Well, I'm going to. Um, but then Moses opened the Red Sea. The Jews walked through, and then the Egyptians were still coming. And let's just say... Um, it's kind of hard to swim when you're on a horse and then the ocean's coming down on you. So the Egyptians died and then we, I don't, I think there was 40 years of wandering. Um, I don't know why it stopped. If you can open up the sea, I don't know why it takes 40 years to wander. That Either way, that's what we're celebrating. And we open up with a, we, we, we tell the whole story. Or not the whole story, but we, we, we sing some songs, there's some prayers, um, we talk about why this night is different from other nights, because we're, we're, and like we have to, it's just kind of a bummer of a, like most holidays are like, yay, and this one, it has a little bit of yay, like we're happy not to be slaves, um, but it's, it's like, it's the Jewish guilt is high, highly mixed in, and like we, we take, um, parsley and dip it in salt water and eat that to remind us of the tears of the slaves. And then we pour one out while we, we put our finger in our wine and then we put that on the plate. And that's, we pour one out for the Egyptians who died uh, because it wasn't their fault. And that, Sebastian says it takes two hours. I'm reform. We basically, there's levels of Judaism and my level is the women are allowed to do things level. I know, mm, joke, I'm sorry. Women are allowed to do things on every level, but like they split them up. You don't need, we let women speak, um, at the service, which is apparently frowned upon, I think. And other, I don't know, not really up to date. It shouldn't be including this, but I am recording this and putting it on the internet. Very smart. Um, and so ours took about 30 ish minutes. We sang some songs, um, and we ate the salt water. We had gefilte fish, which the way I've been describing it to my non-Jewish girlfriend is a cold fish hot dog. Essentially, it's not in the shape of a hot dog. It's like a it's like a cold fish sausage, but there's no casing. And it's probably my most it's my favorite part. Well, of the classic, my mom makes something called simis, which is amazing. Um, it's brisket with like a sweet dumpling. I I don't know how to put it. It's just, it's, that, that's delicious. Um, but it, yeah. And, and then like the funny part was one of the, one of the, um, parts is, is it tells you how to deal with like a different type of Jewish children. And one saying like, oh, this is exciting. Tell me more. One says, I don't know anything. Please tell me. And one says like, why do you do this? And my, uh, it's called a Haggadah is the name of the book that takes you through the Seder. And the one my mom uses my whole life is from the early nineties, let's say maybe late eighties, who knows? And it says in that one that notice how this child doesn't, um, <laughs> uh, count themselves as part of Judaism. And so what you should say is I celebrate this because of what God did for me when he took me out of Egypt. If you had been in Egypt as a slave, you should, would not have deserved to have been uh, removed, uh, set free. And that seems a little harsh. Got to be honest. It's a, I mean, trust me, I get that sometimes kids can be frustrating. And and, and it's frankly amazing that m more of them are not, um, I don't know, just, it's amazing the restraint parent show I'll put it that way and but I would say that telling a child that they should have they would have been kept a slave slave not slave 
had they been in um, Egyptian slavery times, I could see that coming up in, in therapy, like once or twice. Um, but we do that, and then we eat um, our meal, and it was, the, the it's scheduling was off. Um, with, with, uh, cause my whole life we've done two seders, w- one seder the first night, one seder the second night. And I, I really did enjoy seeing my family cause I'm sure they will watch and see this, but it, there should be, you should do it first night and last night, two nights in a row. It's, it's rough sometimes, but I will say for, to give my family credit, we didn't, like redo uh, conversations. It wasn't bad. And it was actually um, for myself who, like I said, hadn't been to one. And we did it last year, but it was COVID year. So it was only two people this time. There was over 10 people both nights. Um, for someone who hasn't done it for a while, it was nice to, to be there for my for my mom, who who is a nice person and, and likes family. Um and to see family, so it, it ended up being a very nice uh, weekend. It was, got to be honest, it was funny because I'm going to Florida. When you see, when you hear this, either I'll be there, will have been there, or I'm leaving tomorrow on Tuesday um, for five-ish days. Um, and I'm planning on eating shrimp. If I'm there for ten-ish meals, eleven times, um, I'll have a shrimp for a snack. And it's like this is like the one week you're supposed to stay kosher, um, and also I was planning and my and everyone knew that today was my first Easter and I would be having ham, and that that also shrimp and ham, like bacon wrapped shrimp is probably the least. It, I don't think anyone would do this, but if you wrapped bacon and shrimp, nope, all the way around. If you wrapped shrimp and bacon, and then had a cheese sauce. A, like a dairy, a cream sauce, because that cheese sauce sounds gross. If you had a cream sauce, like shrimp Alfredo with some bacon bits, is probably the the most um, non kosher thing you could eat, I would imagine, especially during Passover. Um, I didn't have that. It sounds yummy, um, but I knew I was having my first like Easter ham uh, meal of my life today, which is funny because I'm almost thirty four. But I just really have no, it's my first experience with Easter eggs, the bunny. I didn't know. Here's something I didn't know. I thought when you painted eggs that you drained the egg out. And it turns out it's hard boiled. And then also you eat them after they've been stained. And that that would have been surprising to me. I would never, if that was a, a question on Jeopardy, I would have gotten, I feel like they don't ask that question. Family feud. If it was a family, if Steve Harvey was asking me, I would have get. I would have said no. You don't eat those, and then I would X uh, wrong. Um, you do eat those, but it's um, it's been fun uh, having, uh, I guess, dating someone with kids because like I, it's just like the innocence and like actual joy that like a, a kid. I don't know. Got to be honest, Jewish kids really get the shaft. Um, Christmas is way better than Hanukkah, even though Hanukkah is more days. It's not about quality, it's about quantity. I don't, God, all the way around. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. And the gift, even if you have the same amount of gifts, you can't really can't beat the ones at once under the tree. Um, and if Easter and Passover are right next to each other, so I just told you what Passover was. And mine, like I said, for like the 30 minutes of singing and, sh- and prayers, that's light. That's that most people would like. I remember as a kid, it was a little bit longer. It took it more like I used to have a separate. My mom, she probably has it in the basement, um, a whole different set of like plates and silverware and cups um, that were kosher for Passover. So this is like the easy level for me now. Um, and then. Our uh, Christian, our Easter celebrating friends are getting candy, baskets of gifts and candy, and then they get a ham meal. Like it, well, It's really, if you were shopping around, Judaism really wouldn't be high. Like 
it would be like a safety school of religions. Although, no, yeah, it's a, not a lot of selling points other than, like, you know, controlling the weather and um, media. Um, that That's a plus. If you can get past not having ham, um, it really... And also, um, confession seems like a nice perk. Um, but I, I digress. So, I left the Seder last night. Uh, I went uh, to my girlfriend's house, and we were in the egg build... Um, ooh. Spoiler, if you have any kids, please stop watching. If you're a child, please stop. I mean, you really shouldn't be watching this anyways. God, it's I, 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 I don't want to be anyone to like spoil anything holiday-wise. I'll say it this way. My girlfriend and I were helping the Easter Bunny with some preparation. And um, it was just cool to get to see how he fills the eggs. With candy and money, and um, I will say that I real it. If you're a parent trying to lose weight, I really sympathize because as he was filling the eggs, there were like uh, we were putting Kit Kats in, and like you know sometimes uh oh Kit Kat falls on the floor, and yeah it's in a wrapper, but it's still kind of gross now, so you kind of have to eat it, um, make sure it's not poison, and uh, it was fun. It was fun to do that, and then we. We put the baskets out, and I'm I'm new to all this, so like I wanted to. I did a, a I helped the Easter Bunny do a, a trail of Kit Kats from the room to where the the basket was, but I wasn't being as quiet as I should have been. I no one woke up, no one woke up, but um, I was trying to be too per, uh, whatever it's called, precise, and I was told that if they woke up, I'd be scarring children for life, so, uh, I don't know, I wanted it to be right, <laughs> but, and then we, we put the actual, uh, hard-boiled eggs around, and then, uh, we finished, and it was on Christmas, I think I told you guys this, at, like, five-ish, six in the morning, I woke up and was like, should we wake the kids up? Today, at, like, five in the morning, they must have woken up to go. Actually, I know the little one, the younger one, woke up to go to the bathroom and saw what the Easter Bunny left. And she woke up the older one, and they came like it was. It, they were more excited, I think, for the Easter Bunny than they might have been for Santa. And they burst in the room. Kids don't like oh, hi, please hi, good morning. They were like they're all ready to like not super polite when they wake you up. I'm sure. But when they were, they were excited, they burst into the room like it was a surprise party. And it was five, five 5.30-ish in the morning, I think. And like basically when you, it was, it was like we were woken up um, by like a, a police raid and jumped out of bed. And they're like, the Easter party came. And we did that. And then while... The breakfast was being made, which, by the way, was... Do you know they make Pillsbury Cinnamon Roll Grands? Like, the kind that actually, like, unwrap? Uh, my girlfriend made, like, little rabbit ears with it. And I don't know if you know this, but calories don't count on a holiday. And also, I ate that cold fish um, sausage without a casing the last two nights. So I really didn't go too overboard with my calories this weekend. But I had that. But while that was happening, I helped the Easter Bunny outside get ready for the Easter egg hunt, and there were 76 eggs, those two little girls, it took about, I, I thought it was going to be like hours, like let's find it, but I guess they were too young, so we didn't really make it too, um, the Easter Bunny and I didn't really hide them to like super, I when mean, they get a little bit older, I'm going to be a little bit, I was given a hint by a friend who said that the the gas cap is a good place to put one. And, but they found all of them and got like 76 eggs in three and a half minutes. Um, you have to have a lot of activities for kids. Um, a, a really, you really, like a party planner would be helpful. Um, but we did that. And then we went, we went to her parents' house for Easter. Uh, and I had ham. It, 
I was I've never been a big fan of like ham steak. I like I like pork. I like bacon. I like ham. Like I like a grilled cheese and ham. I like a ham sandwich. But like a ham for a meal was never my favorite. But this was a lot thinner, and it was really good. We had that, and we just sort of like I don't know what I was thinking about doing today on, and I I, I don't really want to. I'm not trying to be philosophical, but it's just funny the way, like, you can obviously make decisions in life, but it's, like, amazing. Like, I get stressed about them a lot, and they they're almost it really doesn't matter because things will happen. So, like, I never, like, waking up at 5 in the morning on a Sunday is not really my um, first or second or third or fourth choice, but, like, the fun that they had to see was really cool. And we just, after we got back from her parents, we just sort of, like, we, like, sat, laid down and, like, watched a little bit of a movie. The, like, the four-year-old just, like, will jump like she's, like, a WWE character. And, like, el- but it was, like, I don't know. It was just a fun day. And, um, it, it, even though both real, I mean, I guess Easter's a positive so I'm, 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 I don't really, we didn't talk too much about religion. I would imagine it's a bummer that Jesus is dead, but then he's not. Um, and I know he died for your sins. So I guess it's not as much of a bummer as Passover. Eh? Do you, it, like, I guess this is a question for, for, um, and I've been told that Christian is not the good, for people who believe in, uh, Christ is it a bummer that he he got crucified, I would imagine? And I, I say that that is a funny way to put it, I guess, or a silly way to put it. might not be funny, but I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I I just would imagine, like, I, you know how Passover, obviously, we're talking about the, the tears of the slaves. It's a little bit of a bummer. Um, I don't know if, if Easter is viewed that way. There is a, a, a bunny who brings candy, so it can't be, it's not that sad. Um, but it was just overall for, for being a, a, like a really like a marathon of, of family and, and meals and, um, helping, which is not always fun. Helping is under overrated, um, overrated for sure. Um, the gratitude that you get from it is nice and it's nice to be a nice person, but I would much rather do literally nothing, um, ever, but it it it's getting timed out nicely because like i said i leave for florida in 2 days and it's exciting for me i know this is sounds silly but it's my fir- the first time in my life that i've had like a uh, um vacation time like for the first 5 to 6 years of the church we didn't even take the christmas off um and then, like, the last two years, I think we pre-recorded it, if I'm not mistaken. Like, we did it, like, a week early or something. Um, but it's just, it, I'm excited to do I'm excited. You guys know, if you don't know, uh, I did a whole episode about my ill-fated trip to Cancun. Which, by the way, all I see now online is everyone. I don't know if any, if you've ever had a good trip to Cancun, please let me know. Because I've not seen one video or person post about a positive. I saw someone, some girl got punched in the face by, allegedly, by a police officer at the airport in Cancun. I've seen nothing but negativity. But you've heard about my, my trip there. We have an Airbnb with a pool. Which is nice. Um, which Joey made fun of me for. Because the last. The only other time I've been in an air. Literally. The only other time I've used Airbnb. Was with my ex. We went to Big Bear. You might remember. If you listen to the church. There was a hot tub. I went under. Woke up the next day with styes and then a rash all over my body, and I had a podcast that day. Um, so Joey thinks it's funny that I'm staying in Airbnb again. I can't. Hard to argue, um, but I think it's going to be better. When we see Steve Simone, we're going to have shrimp. We're going to lay by the beach, and it's going to go by much too quickly, I'm sure. But I'm I uh, am really looking forward to it. I know we just uh, this is the week of holidays, man. And what better way to end it, even though Passover will still be going. Oh, man, it's a bummer that Passover's during 420 this year. That is... 
I wonder if there's kosher because there was literally not a joke. Co- there were uh, my aunt had kosher for Passover. Patron didn't have any. Um, wasn't enough. Uh, I was driving. I'll put it that way. So I didn't have any of that. But I wonder if any of if you're an Orthodox Jewish person or if you keep kosher for Passover, are you celebrating 420 this year? Is there kosher for Passover marijuana? I don't know. But that is, um, I think it's Wednesday. And so it's a great end to the holiday marathon because, trust me, if you if you are ha- if you have a half Jewish, half um, Easter celebrating holiday or family, you might need some for look. It, it's been a, it's been a week, um, maybe even more if you've been hosting. It uh, it's much needed, and I know some people are gonna be like, "Oh, you Momo, you don't celebrate for it." I uh, first of all, maybe I am a Momo, and I'm okay with that. Second of all, I can't celebrate it because I'm going to be flying, and I don't feel like going to prison. Um, but it's it's just gonna be a fun week. Uh, I'm looking forward to being on the beach. I did, I would show you, but I um, don't really. Uh, it's kind of it's not gross, but I don't want people to to vomit. Um, I have what you would call a sweater on at all. Even and this is a sweater, but I have I, I'm currently I have two sweaters on right now because my my shoulders and back. All of the hair that was here is down there, and so I I am going to the beach. I don't want to look like uh, Chewbacca or like uh, like the um, like a what is it called? Like a Bigfoot had a baby with a, a human, and I I was his son, and or or her son, and I'm not as hairy as 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 they are, but I'm still pretty hairy. So I shaved the shoulders and the arms. But I couldn't really get the back, so I got. I have like a. You could just see how how my um, what is it called? Not dexterity. What's it called? Where you stretch. I don't know what elastic elasticity. I don't know what I'm just tired. I've been up since five in the morning with bunnies, so I don't know what word I'm looking for is, um, but. You can, it's just like a line, like right up at my shoulder blades of how far I could reach. So that will be fixed. But yeah, if you have anything on the, I guess, western side of Florida, let me know. Um, we're going for mostly vacation. We're also looking to see if maybe it could be a fun place to live in the future. Um, because it, it it hailed today, ladies and gentlemen. It hailed. And it's April seventeenth. It it didn't well, it didn't last for long, and the hail wasn't big, but it did hail, and I have witnesses, um, and that is not okay. Uh, the world is ending, and I need to live somewhere warm for the remainder of, of the time. And I also have to uh, mentally recover, and I don't feel like going to therapy at the moment. So, but I today I had a little girl fart on my head, and then I also she looked at me because I, I was getting I. She says I, I'm naked. I'm not. I would never, never naked around her. I sleep with shorts on, no t-shirt, and she always says I see these boobies, and that that hurts my feelings. But then today she saw my. It's either it's a mixture of the loose skin, and um, the stretch marks, and she said your your stomach has, your tummy has swirls on it, and that that's one that I won't forget for a while. It has swirls because it does. Um, but then we were in the car and, and, uh, my girlfriend was talking about someone had a big belly cause they were like, what does so-and-so look like when they were younger? And they're like, oh, well he was skinny. Um, but now, um, he's not as skinny anymore. And then the younger girl said, oh, like Lee, like Lee's belly. And I was like, that thought I had swirls from losing weight and that, and it's hard to, she wasn't being in her, it, the funny thing about, uh, tall, I don't know if it's for a toddler, um, there's a different, when they get older, when people, when kids get older, there's like a, like they're trying to hurt your feelings, the four year old is just really, she'll just remember facts, she'll be like, one time we went to the zoo and saw monkeys, and it was like three years, like, she'll just say things that are facts to her. 
And the fact, my fact was that my tummy had swirls from losing weight, but it's still a pretty big tummy. Um, so I will be spending my time in Florida just only thinking about that. And I, and like I said, we had a really good day. Um, it was positive, no real crying. Like the average, if there's an over under on crying with children, today was definitely an under day. There's never, there's never no crying. But it was a very below average crying day, and that is something to be thankful for. Um, and I will say that on Thanksgiving. Thank you all for the love and support. If uh, the only thing I have to promote is I do have a Patreon uh, where I do uh, four walks a week. I've been losing; I'm almost down 150 pounds, but I'm gonna gain weight again this week in so in Florida. So it's n- n- no bueno. But what are you gonna do? Um, and I do podcast consulting. So go to LeesideConsulting.com if you'd like to uh, talk about that. Thank you very much for watching and listening. God, it's coming up on two years since leaving L.A., so that's it's coming up fast. I love you all. You're wonderful. And I will see you next week on What Was I Thinking?